All right, good evening, folks. Today we're going to be unboxing this uh, bench top oscillating spindle sander from Jet. Hey, folks. Hey, Chris here with CD Woodworks. Hey, if you uh, if you like my videos, if you want to be kind and support what I'm trying to do here and and support my channel, I'd appreciate you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell down there, uh, wherever it is in the bottom somewhere. Uh, I would appreciate it, you know, trying to trying to put out some content here and, and get started and all any little bit really does help. Thanks. All right, so this showed up today. UPS delivered it. Um, this is replacing the last one that we got here in the shop that was damaged upon receiving. The, the base was messed up, uh, had about a three quarter of an inch wobble to it. So you probably can't see on the camera, but it came in damaged. That bottom left corner is smashed in and it doesn't sit level. So this box is in okay shape, but still kind of beat up. You see the, the sides there busted apart. There's a hole in the top. The tape on this edge is no longer held. Looks like something punctured or hit the, the bottom there. So hopefully, with any luck, we don't actually have a damaged tool. The bottom seems to be in shape. So we'll get this opened up, and we will see if we get to keep this one or not. All right, got it on the makeshift table here, or the makeshift bench. Let's hope this goes better than the last time, because last time we dumped parts all over the place. It was awesome. Chuck, you're not going to catch stuff. So let's see if we can do this somehow better. Well, starting off, we have a packing slip. That's always nice to have, I suppose. Double box. What? Double box? I don't even know what that, that means. Um, we start off, the uh, packing material seems to be in, intact. That's, that's better than the last one we did. Let's see, how is the best way to do this without dumping it all over the ground? I think what we're going to do is tip it over and try to slide the box out. Let it come out. Oh. Well, this time the box is in better shape, I think. Yeah. So last time we did this, parts flew everywhere. This time, the uh, styrofoam seems to be in a little bit better shape. Uh, it is cracked at the top here. This thing's really not packed well. The turn this around. The bottom busted out where the legs are at. They clearly protruded down through. Hopefully this one's level and flat. This is busted and taped back together. You know, we'll, we'll cut it open and see what happens. I have high hopes that this one is functioning. You should come around back here, Chuck. We'll, uh, we'll just throw it onto here. Now let's grab here, here, and lift up and place it on down. What say you? Chuck says it's good. I think it is. All right, so what else do we have in this thing? We have the directions and registration, very important. We had our packing material. Uh, what came out earlier was the... Looks like one eighth, three eighths or so sanding belts, or not belts, uh, spindles. That looks like about the two inch spindle. We have three wrenches. Uh, 17, 14, 17, 14 again, and a, a 10 and 12. I'm not sure why you need two of the same wrenches, but you know, hey, whatever. This must be about the one and a half spindle. Then we have what I believe is going to be the half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch spindles. I might not have those 100% perfect. I think that's what the sizes are. 
But they're packed in grease. They, they look good. Go with the, the sanding paper for the spindle. What else do we have? We have a plate. We have another plate. And we have a third plate, which is almost out of its wrapper. And then we will have the fourth plate up here. So Chuck wants to know how we clean it. What we will do is wipe all this packing grease off with some mild degreaser, probably my uh, bicycle chain cleaner, because that's all we have here. I still have yet to buy any better stuff from the last uh, video. Let's test it, see if it works. I mean, we're already doing better than last time. Yeah. The, the thing doesn't rock back and forth. So it's a heck of a start. Nah, do we need, do you want to put a spindle on it? Let's not do a spindle until we clean it, until I clean it. I know you're not going to do anything. You're going to sit there, you're going to have a drink, you're going to make fun of me. <laughs> Sounds smooth, seems to be oscillating. Up downs are working. It's exciting. It's not sitting straight. Let me turn that around. Not too heavy. Solid one person lift. They didn't do a good job at cleaning the or protecting the top from the paint. There's a lot of overspray, but that's okay. It's not going to affect anything. Let's get this cleaned up. Finish line citrus spike chain degreaser. That's Probably as good as anything else for cleaning cast iron. Paper towels. My executive producer slash shop slave. I just gotta teach him how to actually produce and he'll be okay. Anybody would like to volunteer to yeah, just throw stuff on the ground. Just throw a little Johnson's Paste Wax on here for good measure. Keep it nice and protected. I like using Johnson's Paste Wax. I put it on all of my tools a couple times a year, depending on how much I use them. I do not have problems with rust. I have my table saw down in Louisiana. Now I'm up here in Virginia, and I'm, you know, if I didn't have problems in the humidity of Louisiana, I'm surprised that if I would have problems here. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. It's not a, not a dangerous tool necessarily, but we'll unplug it anyways. We'll go ahead and wipe down the plates. They're not covered in grease, so I'm not overly worried. We're just going to set that one there. We'll open all these up. And these just sit here on the side. Good little storage spot for them. Not sure where the wrenches are supposed to be stored. Maybe there's a spot for them. But on the side here, they have a spot for the one and a half inch spindle. They're marked out two, one and a half, five eighths, one half, and one quarter. So I guess that answers the, the question to what size this thing comes with. We can spin it. There we go. So these are the smaller spindles. And they absolutely are just packed in some sort of greasy material. So we'll wipe them down. That looks like the 5 eighths. Well, I think I got that wrong. That that's the five eighths. That's the half. And this is the quarter spindle. And then you have your spindle sleeves that came. Ah, that'll work. Thank you. And the way these work is you have your spindle and your spindle sleeve, and they just slide down. slide down on and there's a little catch here at the bottom that you just loosen up slide that <clears throat> slide
slide that piece of sandpaper all the way down, flip your little catch up onto the sandpaper, just tightens down with a Phillips screwdriver, and bam, you're done without parts for it. Ah! Well, that's a good way to ruin your threads, huh? Which I did. I'll have to straighten those out. That fixes it. I think it'll screw in. If not, we'll have to go back to the drawing board. All right, so there it is. So that is your jet oscillating spindle sander all set up. We'll go ahead and throw the, the two inch on. Maybe wipe the packing grease off that there. We'll throw the two inch on. And you just come in from the bottom here and tighten it up. Like I said, they are reverse. Give that a little bit of a tightness and then your, your plates are indexed. So make sure you line up your indexing pin and they'll drop right in. We'll go ahead and wipe off some of this Johnson's paste. Just grab me a little piece of plywood. Well, we got to make sure the thing works. I don't know much of a demonstration it'll be, but we got to make sure it works. MDF, no? That's fine. Okay. Well, let's not use MDF. All right, piece of cheap pine plywood. What better way to make sure things sand? I don't have my dust collector set up, which is going to be bad, but we'll see how this goes. Ah, power first. Power first. All right, as you can see, it oscillates, it goes, it spins. And it sands around corners. Kind of split out the plywood, but what do you expect? It's plywood. I made a dusty mess. I need to get some dust collection for this thing. There is a port on the back here. I think it's a two inch port and I ordered a two and a half inch. So I'm gonna have to find some sort of an adapter for that so I can hook it up to my Rockler Dust Right uh, system. Um, I think this table should pivot. It's not gonna pivot much with that big thing on there, but it pivots. It's got a, a gauge marking system over here. You can see your zero again. Locks on both sides. Well, I should do it for this video. That's the, that's the jet oscillating spindle sander unboxing. And as, as I use it, I'll, I'll get a better, I'll get a much better review and critique of the, the machine after a few months of use. All right, guys, y'all have a good one.